Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the uh, cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, March 31st, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to follow my trades over at Ether and also copy my trades. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Bitcoin. As you can see, we have been rallying from the 50 moving average down here at 51,000. And at the moment, we're trading at the 58,500. Most likely, the target at this moment is going to be the previous highs here at give or take uh, 60,000, 61,000. That's probably where we'll find a major resistant in the next few trading days. So we're trading above the middle of the bullish band. And at this point, technical indicators are very bullish. We're going to have a crossing of the uh, MACD um, probably tomorrow or on Thursday session. And that will basically skyrocket this even further. Pullbacks at this point towards the 20 exponential and the 50, they will most likely be bought into. So let's look at the uh, Ethereum. So Ethereum as well, we had a massive spike here on Monday and then an additional uh, spike today. And this is a really bullish candlestick, to be very honest. Taking the gears, they're all turning around to the upside. We we'll mostly find resistance around 1900, where which is the previous highs here. If that breaks, then we'll go towards a 2000. Pullbacks towards the middle of the bullish band or the 50 moving average, roughly 1700. They will most likely be bought into at this current stage. So let's look at Cardano. So Cardano has found uh, res uh, support down here at the 50 moving average at 1.02. And has rallied towards the upside and is trading at 1.2 at this current stage. We'll mostly also find resistant, major resistance here at 1.3 and the pullbacks towards the middle of the bullish band at 1.1 and 1.08 is going to be quite a lot of support where buyers will come, uh, come back in and buy this. So at this point, it looks like we're heading towards the top of the bullish band before we you know, have a pullback in this in this uh, cryptocurrency technical indicators they are well flat and fairly bearish so they do favor the upside at this point so yes you can see that we have basically been bouncing off the 20 exponential and major pullbacks towards the 50 have also been bought into so let's look at litecoin so Litecoin is uh, struggling at the uh, 50 moving average. We tried to pierce above the 50 moving average and then pull back. And now we're trading just between the 20 and the 50 moving average. Technically, guess they are favoring the upside. We're going to have a crossing of the MACD uh, probably tomorrow and or on, um, on Thursday session. And uh, that will probably skyrocket this towards uh, 221, which is the previous highs here and where we'll find a major resistance. Pullbacks towards the prior, these levels here, give or take uh, 160, 170, they will most likely uh, be bought into at this current stage. So let's look at NEO. So NEO has rallied towards the top of the bullish band, and now we're seeing this pullback. It found basically resistant here. It is, so you can see that the, the CCI is turning around, the RSI is also kind of turning around, and the MACD and the, is flat, and the CC, uh, stochastic is basically bullish at this point. So we'll probably see this pull back towards the, the 20 exponential at the 41, or the 50 moving average at the 40, uh, where it most likely will find major uh, support. We are in a gradual uptrend here is not this massive spike that we saw in the beginning of, uh, of February, but we are gradually grinding higher towards the 50, which most likely will be our target at this current stage. So let's look at Dash. So we have finally found a little bit of movement here, but we're still trading underneath the 50 moving average. We have uh, broken that 20 exponential moving average. And we're trading at 212 and uh, we're right underneath the 50 moving average. Technical indicators, they are all turning around to the upside. And uh, yes, there's, well, never say never, but uh, but we haven't seen massive moves in this uh, cryptocurrency since basically the beginning of February, where we saw this spike to the upside towards 322. And then it fell basically apart all the way down towards uh, 278. And since then, we've basically just been trading sideways. 
If we manage to break above the 50 moving average, then we could head towards 239. A break uh, down from here, we'll find probably support down at 180. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And you're welcome to follow me or my trades or at Itero, uh, where you can follow them and also copy them. So, good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.